Jaden Sancho is the man that we all want to sign this summer and it's been painful to follow, it's been painful to report on, it's been painful as a United fan to see what's gone on with the saga. And this is a, a bit of a slightly different video after an update from Fabrizio Romano. It's not all about Fabrizio Romano said we've agreed terms and Fabrizio Romano said that Sancho wants to join XYZ. It's more of an opinion piece from me based on the news, which we may as well get into straight away. Fabrizio Romano, he's released a new podcast called Here We Go, like the name of it, Fabrizio. And in that, he said that Sancho is absolutely reading and buzzing to join United. He decided a month ago to talk about this opportunity. The problem is not the personal terms or the agent fees. Goes on to say that Sancho is not going to go on strike at Dortmund. He's happy, but if United pay 110, 120 million euros, sorry, he is ready to join with no problems. And this really has been Fabrizio's stance the whole time. In the last week or two, there's been loads of contrasting reports on anything and everything to do with Sancho. Apart from Fabrizio Romano, who has the entire way through said that wages are agreed and terms are agreed and they are not a problem. And Romano is a man that has built up his reputation so that he deserves to be trusted above all others, really, when it comes to United transfer news. So there's no reason to believe that is any different. But the point, there's two points that I really want to talk about in this video. And as I said, it's more about my opinion really here rather than the news. And number one, it's Fabrizio Romano there saying that Sancho is not going to go on strike to force a United move. And I think that is absolutely the right thing for Sancho to do. There is no way in hell that we can expect as United fans for Sancho to go and ruin his own little legacy that he's made there at Dortmund because we can't be asked to pay what Dortmund want. So it, instead of it being on United to make the transfer go through because we're paying the right money, we're sitting here waiting for Sancho to go, I want to leave, let me out of here. I'm a slave, pulling out the Ronaldo card. That's completely unreasonable to expect of Sancho. He's been nothing but professional his whole career so far, moving from City to Dortmund. Hell of a risk he took there and it paid off. We can't expect him to scrunch all that up, throw it in the bin to try and force a United transfer because we will not pay the money. Now, that's my own opinion on that. And I wanted Sancho to put in that request so it forced the move, but I completely understand why he is not. And I also completely understand why he won't this summer. I do not think he'll hand in a transfer request. And on the second update there, the idea there that Sancho is buzzing to join United and that he wants to join United, that in itself should be enough for United to go and pay what Dortmund want for Sancho. Because I am sick and tired of United over the years having a failed Galactico strategy. Angel Di Maria, he joined... Huge money, huge wages. Never wanted to join United in the first place. Sulked after the first couple of months. Eventually got the move to PSG that he wanted. Falcao, nothing wrong with the guy. He used United, hopefully, to reignite his career. It didn't really work out for him. Alexis Sanchez, the worst example. Was about to go to City before we offered him more money. And then he goes, oh, Manchester's actually red now, not blue. Change of mind. And he hated it. He was crap from day one. Di Maria and Sanchez are the two biggest examples. And Solskjaer has started this cultural rebuild at United and we've made the right signings for the right reasons. And Sancho, Sancho is the sort of signing that ticks all the boxes that Woodward and the Glazers want to tick in terms of a valuable asset that would increase in value, that can sell shirts, that is an asset to the business. Can tick all the boxes they want because he will turn into a superstar. And it can be at United. And from United's perspective, he's, he's young enough that he's got his whole career ahead of himself. He's good enough to immediately change the quality of our starting 11. He's, he's the perfect type of signing for what Solskjaer is trying to build. So it ticks all the boxes. It's not a case of tick some of the boxes and let's see what goes on. He can be the cherry on top of the cake. Of all the signings we've made so far, look, it, even more so than Bruno Fernandes in that respect. Jadon Sancho can be, I suppose Bruno is, is the centrepiece of it all. But for me, Sancho is the, is the missing piece. Bruno is the centrepiece, but in terms of completing this puzzle right now, Sancho is that missing piece. And Fabrizio Romano has stayed completely firm on these opinions that he's, not these opinions, sorry, on this information that he's had all summer long. 
that Sancho wants the United move. The terms are agreed, that they are not the problem, that the problem is United not willing to pay Dortmund what they want and Dortmund not willing to bend their demands to United. And nothing has really changed on that in a long time. That's why there hasn't really been a major update on Sancho and why we're still sat here, what is it now? 10 days before our first game against Crystal Palace, I think. And we still haven't signed Jaden Sancho. Now, there's still a few weeks left in the transfer window and it can all still happen. So it's not all complete doom and gloom. But I just wanted to say my own opinion here, really, on this Fabrizio Romano update because it's good to hear. It's good to hear that he is buzzing to join United. And, it, and for me, it's such a crucial aspect of getting players at the club that want to play for Manchester United because it makes such a substantial difference to how they play football. Bruno Fernandes would not be playing as good as he has so far for United if he didn't really want to be here. And you can say the same for pretty much every United signing that we've made under Solskjaer. Bruno Fernandes is clearly head and shoulders above the rest in terms of the, the impact he's had on the team. But now is the time to continue the good and smart work that we have been doing in, this, in the transfer windows in terms of the signings we've made. Van der Beek can be another one, I think that he'll really want to play for United and elevate himself to the next stage in his career. And Jadon Sancho, he wants to do the same. But United will just not pay. I give all credit to Fabrizio for completely standing firm on his stance. He has never changed, never wavered. Where others have wavered, he has stayed firm. And there's no reason for us to doubt him. So if it really is the case that Sancho is buzzing and it really is the case that he wants to join United and it really is the case that terms are all agreed, United man, just pay the goddamn money.